In this video, I'll show you how to get your hands on every loop, instrument and patch available in GarageBand for Mac. When you first download and open GarageBand for Mac, you'll notice that a lot of the instrument patches, audio patches and loops are greyed out, with icons next to them that you can click to download them for use. You can actually get access to all of this downloadable content at once, instead of going through and clicking on each one by one. With GarageBand open, click on GarageBand in the toolbar, then hover over Sound Library. You'll have three options here. Download Essential Sounds will download and install a core selection of sounds that are perfect for those who just want to dive in and start creating with the program. Download all available sounds will give you access to every instrument patch, drummer, drum kit and loop currently available. Over the years, gigabytes and gigabytes of content has been added to GarageBand in the form of genre specific sound and instrument packs and producer packs where Apple have collaborated with artists, DJs and producers to create their own bespoke collection of sounds. So if you do want to download everything, and I'd highly recommend that you do at some point, it may take a while to download. How long will depend on your internet speed, obviously. Once you have downloaded everything, you can actually refine the patches and loops you'll see in the library and loop browser. If you want to explore the instrument patches that come with the 8-bit legends pack, for example, open the library window, then click on the menu at the top here. Select 8-bit legends from the menu and now all categories and patches displayed will be from that sound pack. It works the same way in the loop browser. Open the browser. Click on the Sound Packs menu at the top of the browser window, select the pack whose sounds you want to use, and the browser will only display loops from that pack. If you download all available sounds and don't see any new sound packs here, try selecting Re Index All Loops from the bottom of the sound pack menu. After a few seconds, you should see any new content you've added appear. Back in the sound library menu, the last option, reinstall sound library, will reinstall absolutely everything in your sound library. This is useful if for some reason the sound library is changed or altered, or for some other reason stops working. If you're after even more of the really high quality loops and instruments that Apple makes, but don't want to fork out $200 for Logic Pro, you can actually get your hands on all of its loops and instrument packs without buying it. <laughs> 